Okay, so this is a new video. It's called UFOs, Coils, and Magnets. Now, I normally don't even, you know, touch subjects like UFOs, conspiracy theories, etc. But um, the more I've come to understand how reality works, the more I've come to conclude that um, not only are these things, UFOs specifically and other technologies, possible but uh with you know tesla's development of science and technology they were just inevitable so um yeah that's basically it now i saw some really interesting youtube videos which kind of helped me to understand this basic principle and those are probably linked up on my um my channel and so the, the basic principle of how you make UFOs is you just need two principles, uh, coils and magnets. Um, you, know, the, you know, the typical electrical, you know, copper wire, wire coils. There might be more to it than that, but I think that's the basic principle. Um, so what you have is you have an inner magnetic ring, an outer magnetic ring, and then a center ring. Uh, ring of coils um, so your your coils are going to be stationary kind of like in the center between these two magnetic rings so you got magnets on the outside magnets on the inside um, now <clears throat> what you have here typical kind of disc shape so on but what you have in the min middle right in the center is magnets and they're centered between these coils and the coils obviously if you look at various you know YouTube videos you can see these interesting experiments where people are taking so a structure just like this um, and you know they're either taking those rodent coils the round ones or uh, just you know two coils and then they're putting magnets in the middle and they're causing them to spin now of course I'm not sure exactly how it would all work if you did what I'm you know proposing but my basic question is well what happens when you take um, what what happens when you create a you, you take the coils your electric coils and you put them between an inner magnetic ring and an outer magnetic ring and you make it so this outer magnetic ring can spin I think what will happen is once you work out the kinks you will have a system that's relatively stable that will the spin is due to this you know interaction between the uh, electric coils and, and the magnets that will give you your lift and as well as your potential for propulsion um, that we see you know with not that we see with uh, UFOs but that we you know the ones that we've seen, we can kind of see that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there aren't UFOs, right? They don't exist, right? The videos I've seen are not UFOs. They're all fakes. They're all frisbees. Anyway, so um, so you have three rings. The, the basic principle is that all motion and thus all propulsion is spin-based. So what you're doing is you let the... the you have these two ma these magnets in the center spinning they contribute to the outer ring of magnet magnet spinning i'm assuming it would be stabilized by the electrical coils and uh... i'm not sure how you'd fit it all together i'm not an electrical engineer so um, but that you'd get your lift from the outer ring that's spinning as well as i'm not sure how the propulsion would work but it, it would you know it, it wouldn't it may not work exactly like a uh, a frisbee but it may work you know analogous to a frisbee so um, yeah that's basically it so UFOs coils and magnets I think that's how it works thanks